In this video, I'm going to tint the windows, the back windows, including the cargo area of this 2015 Toyota Sienna. And uh, I have ordered a pre-cut tint from eBay and I'll put the link and I will walk through the process of uh, how that uh, process of tinting worked. I got the pre-cut tints from eBay. It came in a really nice roll and uh, it was packaged very well. I'm going to take this off and show you what I got. Now I contacted the tint shops locally here, which are fine, means they will charge you for labor. So this tint I got for the rear quarter or two third of the uh, minivan. And I paid $21 for all the five windows. So it has the rear windows, the uh, cargo area windows and the tailgate. And we are in Virginia, you can tint up to 50% on the front windows. I'm not going to tint anything as of now. And in the rear, you can go up to 35 for regular cars. Uh, since it's a minivan, I can go as low as 5%. So I chose a 20% tint, which should be good. So this is how it came with the instructions. I'm going to take this off and see what I got. I'm going to start with the rear cargo side window because this is the easiest one. And all I have are some tools here. So I have a spray bottle and in the spray bottle, I have added a few drops of baby shampoo and I have a squeezy. Actually, these are a set of set of wedge, plastic wedges that you can buy in a set of three. So I had these for other things and I'm going to use it for squeezing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the window from the inside. And since this is pre-cut, the good thing is it uh, I don't have to worry about cleaning it outside and then uh, making making the uh, the uh, cut from outside. So all I'm going to do is clean the window. The problem with these rear windows are they have the defroster. So I'm going to get as much clean as I can because this is the important thing. You don't want any any kind of dirt in there. I'm going to use a terry cloth to finally clean it and I have put a towel underneath it. And now I'm going to wet it again for putting the film on. Tint out and you will see, you'll feel the sticky part of it. And I'm going to spray this as well. And I'm going to slide it as I take The cut here, they have put two notches here, which in my case is not required. So I think we have a problem here. So I did write to the um, seller and I said that the, I don't have these two notches. And he was very nice to send me two pieces because his template doesn't have anything without notches. So he sent me two blank templates, blank uh, tents for me to cut and I was okay with that. So in this today I'm going to cut it and I have a sharp uh, 
razor blade here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same template onto the new one and cut out these pieces without the notches in there so at least I will get those um, template carved out so what I did was I sprayed some water between the two layers or you know between the the uh, template and the new one so that it doesn't move so when I'm cutting it I'll get a clean cut So once I cut it, I flipped it over and now I can see which which uh, edges are are not going to be are not uh, properly cut. So you can see it from this line and I used a new blade so that the edge is a very sharp edge. So the first template I did is in this case is a plastic on the top or the layer liner on the top. And in this case, my liner is on the bottom. So here I did cut out the two uh, rear cargo area. So I'm going to spray water. I've cleaned it, cleaned this window, and I'm going to put the, uh, the new template, new one that I just created. The way I do it is always try to squeeze it sideways and you can look at the bubbles there will be some bubbles and for example there is there are some bubbles here and if you try to squeeze it it will it will go otherwise you have to use a heat gun i'll probably soon use a heat gun if i can't squeeze these sideways remember the sideways is is going to be easier than pushing it down so i always do it sideways this way and there will be bubbles in the bottom so I try to squeeze it if if you can't squeeze it and it's still coming back I use a heat gun and if you slowly heat it up it will it will shrink and it will give you the the um, give you the um, uh, a, a, a better way to squeeze the uh, squeeze the bubbles out you have to keep working on it for at least five to ten minutes so that the water is all squeezed out and the um, uh, the glue is going to adhere to the glass so almost there um, I try to make sure that these lines, especially if you have the defroster lines, they create the problem. And I want to squeeze the, the bubble out as much as possible. So I'm going to use my fingers. For the back windows, what I did was I had taken out the trim. It's not very difficult to take the trim out. And I have another video which I'm actually repairing the uh, door on the other side, the door um, uh, lock on the other side. Uh, and uh, if you take out this this uh, screw in here and you can just pry it open and the there are hooks in there or the body uh, hooks that uh, go in just similar to this and they will come out. So uh, with this, I'm also going to remove this trim and I'll lower the window. To remove this because you can see how much I have to squeeze in if I don't remove this. And um, if you have a body panel or body uh, insert remover, you can. I just use a weed whacker or a weed puller in this case. And all you need to do is get in underneath and try to pull it out. So I'll just use both my hands and this will come out and once you get this clip out then you should be able to I'll pull the, the rest so I squeeze it from this side and if you go up there you can squeeze it and then it comes off so this thing 
it will be useful to have this removed otherwise I can't get access to this corner and once you want to put the the film in it will need to go all the way to the corner I'm going to clean this especially these edges you need to need to get those edges all cleaned up so that you get a clean edge to have no dirt in there it's very difficult to get all the way clean but as much as you can so I'm going to do this two or three times get every piece of dirt especially at the edges because you will get the bubbles forming at the edges and that's why removing the gasket helps I'm going to use the big squeezy here to squeeze out as much as I can and I'm squeezing it out sideways and then I will switch to the small squeezy for the portions it's a little problem at the edges here and you want to do as good take some patience and continue to do it so removing the gasket around the window helped a lot because I can squeeze all the way in and get all the um, air bubbles out and you want to have it as clean at the end as possible so I had to redo this and I had ordered another set because the previous one uh, on the uh, gasket it was it was getting more bubbles so if you're doing it on the Sienna it's a big window and you want to get uh, the gasket out so I'm going to keep working on this and get all the bubbles out squeeze as much as you can you will be able to see the bubbles like you can see there is a little problem over here problem spot I might be able to get that out with the heat gun but you can see that this bubble is is forming here so I'm going to try to squeeze it out and if it's a water bubble it will evaporate over time and you might see a few bubbles that will form and then if the glue sticks and the glue is a good quality glue it will uh, work its way out and it uh, the uh, water should evaporate through the uh, film so that's one thing you may want to also keep in mind and I'm going to check it from outside as well so I uh, got a help my wife helped me hold one side of the film so that you can put the uh, the soap solution onto the film as well as to the window and you will find some trouble spots I'm going to keep working on those trouble spots and you need to squeeze from I try to squeeze from the middle to the sides and that way you can squeeze as much of the soap solution as possible again if you can't get the small bubbles it will it should disappear as long as there is no air in there and hopefully there is none I'm going to try to keep squeezing the main thing is the ends and you want to make sure the the ends are are all glued without any bubbles in there and that's the main problem since these are big flat windows it's it's easy to do um, just you have to make sure that you get as much bubbles as you can out and I'm going to keep working on this so here I have it um, you can see the edges are pretty uh, there is no bubbles in there there might be tiny bubbles in there which will evaporate after a while and uh, I let it cure and if it if there are new bubbles that come up while it's drying it is okay you will be able to see that uh, eventually the bubbles will be out for the rear tailgate window I'm going to have to heat shrink it the reason you need to heat shrink is you can see that this is a curved window 
and if you don't heat shrink you won't be able to to uh, put this without uh, any creases and once you get a crease it's 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 ruined you have to get a new new tent so i'm trying to align it so to heat shrink you want to put the heat on on these creases or the excess material and you want to squeeze them out and as you put heat and I have to use my other hand so you can see that I am removing these big creases now make sure that you don't create you you want to squeeze them out not create a crease so the rear tint didn't come out as good as I expected there are quite a few bubbles in here and you can see the bubbles right here so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and retry again the shrinking process needs to be done properly and to fix this at this point is going to be a challenge so I'm going to get a new piece and try it again so to remove a tent, I'm going to pick a place where it is, uh, and this looks like since I had put it only yesterday, it's going to come off pretty easy. Since it was, it has, it has not cured yet. This is easy. It's better to, to try it with shrinking. So I decided that the pre-cut film is not going to work for me because once you shrink the pre-cut film, it's going to leave some edges and it didn't work out well. So I tried it as you saw in this video. So I'm going to try the window film from Walmart. This is a black magic window film, 20% should match my other windows. Uh, and then this has a two feet by six feet film roll and that should cover the window. So next I'm going to uh, lay this out with some water in it in an H facet. So I will put some water at the edges, two edges and then in the middle. And this is the difficult part is you have to shrink this film so you can see all this excess material need to be shrunk from from both uh, the top and the bottom and these are going to be you know problem if you don't shrink it before you put it on a curved window and that's that's the bigger problem of it next I'm going to take a, a heat gun on the highest setting and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this film up and then push it against the the glass so one thing you want to do is do it in sections so I'm going to start right from here as I do it you can see that the film is is heating up and what I'm going to do is try to squeeze these as much as I can with with a cloth so the first thing is to take these the big fingers out and make it shrink a little bit to make it a little bit even on the number of fingers so these are called fingers i chose the cloth because if you do a cloth it is less chance of getting any kind of creases because you can smooth with your hand if you use a squeegee you have to be very careful because the squeegee might create some uh, wrinkles and once you get a wrinkle you can't remove it you you have to take a new new uh, tent in that case you can't use the same film So now I have taken it off and I'm going to squeeze it from the middle. 
and I'll use the biggest one I have here. So try to squeeze it from the middle to the side and try to get the middle looking better first before you get to the side. So always the edge will be a little problem and you want to squeeze to the side and the side. Just tuck the edges in and keep squeezing until you get as much water as you can out. So there are a few uh, of these fingers and often it's not going to go I'll try to squeeze this in but if you have a few of these and they are coming back you may want to bring the the heat gun and and try to shrink it again and once you do that it will go away a little bit of heat will help And some of the fingers are going to be stub burned, so you have to keep working on it. Just make sh make sure that you don't heat up the uh, the plastic panel, otherwise this might melt. The heat is is too strong. On the side ones, uh, the. The tint uh, looks fine. Actually, you will see these are the bubbles that are there, but they will go away. So give it a, a day or two when it cures. And if you look from inside, as long as you don't see any kind of imperfection in there, it should go away. So I'm going to let it cure and usually uh, if you uh, leave it in the hot sun it will cure faster and I'll just let it cure it's a little cold here I'm going to put the gasket back in today I waited for a day for it to cure without the gasket I left it overnight and just make sure that the the film is sticking properly so that the gasket doesn't rub I'm going to uh, clean the gasket the channels inside it since I am already uh, out here and then I'm going to put that back in to get the gasket in you can start putting it first like this and then while holding the gasket you want to raise the window and if you see it and then while the window is is raised up you can Along with the gasket, you can push the gasket with the window and it will, it will go in. You see the tinting has been completed. This one has 20% tint, all the back windows. From inside, it looks pretty good. No bubbling, nothing, and it worked out pretty well. If this video was helpful, click on the like button, and also you can comment, and I'll try to answer your questions on tinting a minivan, especially this is a 2015 Toyota Sienna.